Hi, Dr. Giovanni Rondo with Healthy Mind, Body, and Spirit, a show that's focused on improving our entire world with a particular um, focus on the African American community. And today we have an extra special show um, talking about my business, Global MD. I have someone named Gigi who's interested in Global MD and has a lot of questions. So I'm going to be answering her questions. So stay tuned. Okay, Gigi, you had questions? So what exactly is Global MD? I am so glad you asked me that. I get asked that question all the time. Global MD is my solo medical practice, or it's a doctor's office uh, that focuses on wellness and prevention. Mm. And I am mobile. That's kind of how I got the name. Okay. Um, it's specifically for busy adults in the Louisville and Southern Indiana areas. Um, I take care of all kinds of conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, acute and chronic medical conditions. All right. Um, okay. Basically, non emergencies. Um, this is done either in the office, um, at, ho at your home, um, or virtually, um, since we have that capability as well. And this allows more convenience and more opportunities to really meet people where they are. And that's why we call it Global MD. So how is Global MD different from other doctor's offices? Another great question, Gigi. So Global MD is different from other doctor's offices, um, the main one being it's mobile, which means that travel, I do have an office space uh, in Southern Indiana, um, but I can actually travel to patients' homes. And I also offer the capability of uh, utilizing telemedicine, which I know a lot of doctor's offices use that now, um, but that's also something that I utilize as well. Okay. Uh, another thing that separates my office from other doctor's offices is that direct care means that you have a very personal connection uh, with your doctor, um, very direct care. There's no administrators, there's no insurance uh, issues that can lead to barriers between the patient um, and the physician. So that's one of the, the main things that I really enjoy about uh, my practice, and that's one of the things that distinguishes my practice from other practices. Um, another thing that distinguishes um, my practice is that you're guaranteed to actually see a physician, an MD. Um, some practices you may go in and you don't know who you're going to see, whether it's a nurse or an assistant, but my practice is you're guaranteed to see an MD, and that, that would be me. Another um, uh, thing that actually distinguishes my practice is that you, we actually spend more time. I don't um, load up my patients with or my schedule with trying to see a hundred patients within you know a very short period of time or a lot of patients. I spend more time with my patients to really get a chance to know them and my patient panel is a lot smaller. Um, that way I can spend more time with people and really get the opportunity to take care of them and to meet their needs. Um, another thing that distinguishes my practice is that um, I'm very transparent when it comes to cost. You know how a lot of times at the doctor's office you may not know what you're going to pay. You may not know what kind of bill you're going to get. But before you even come in, you know exactly what you're going to be paying. So we tend to be very trans transparent when it comes to pricing. So those are the things that really distinguish my practice from other practices. So, where did you get the Global MD name? So that's a real that's another really great question. I actually, when I was thinking about leaving, um, I actually was. I was very comfortable in, in the practice that I was at before, but I just kept hearing go, leave, go. And so when I finally did, and when I finally uh, was looking to develop my actual office and my practice, I wanted to call it Go MD, but someone already had that name. So I was kind of going, you know, um, and, and trying to think of other names with my niece. And so she said, Gobel MD because I would be mobile. That's kind of creative. So that just kind of stuck. And so that's how I got the Global MD. But I was first um, inspired because I was just being led to go and to leave. So where I actually was my comfort zone 
to, to go and actually make a difference. So that's kind of where the Go Bull MD comes from. Great question, Gigi. How does Go Bull MD help the local African American community and help us to get and stay healthy? Okay, well, another great question. You asked some really great questions, Gigi. So, with the whole concept of Global MD, the focus is really to improve our entire community uh, overall by spending more time with people, making sure that the physician and patients actually can spend time together. Um, it's called DPC, uh, direct primary care, but I also like to think of it as doctor, patient equals care. And so just spending more time um, actually being able uh, to sit down, teach people, being a true advocate for people um, can really make a big difference in someone's health. And just really treating people as individuals and not really as in that herd mentality. So that's really what we you know, really like to do. And also meeting people where they are, actually physically going to where they are um, if that's necessary, but also really being able to relate uh, to people, I think, would really help their help them in their healthcare journey. Um, I've gone through some different things in in my health uh, and in my life overall. So I think sometimes um, when you experience certain things, you can relate to people a lot better. So um, in those ways, I think that that would be very beneficial. Um, also, um, just in terms of seeing other African American uh, people out as not only as physicians or as uh, professionals, but also having businesses and saying, having kind of like that can do kind of spirit. Um, we have, especially, you know, in our community in West Louisville, we actually have a very rich history that is not known. And so one of the things that I'd like to do is to uncover more of that history and to, you know, just further the legacy of, of greatness for our community. So, um, so great question, Gigi. So how does someone like myself sign up for something like Global MD? Okay, so yeah, you can be a part of Global MD by just calling the number, the 812-924-7323 uh, for an appointment. You can also go online um, to the website at www.gobilemd to look up information, but also to make an appointment online. So we'd love to join, have you join us. <laughs> like Charlie Brown. Oh, so why don't you accept insurance? Okay, that is just really a great question. Um, well, insurance is kind of like a middle man. And what I like to do in direct primary care is to deal directly with that person. And so we just want to just pretty much simplify the whole health care process. Health insurance doesn't necessarily equal health care. So when you really think about um, maybe all the premiums you may pay and all the different things that you do um, in terms of getting health insurance, that doesn't always equal actually seeing a doctor or getting health care. So what we really try to do, we believe that people, you know, definitely should have health insurance, but to pay for or to actually see their doctor, that's probably not, you know, going to be necessary in all situations. Not to, not to um, make it as an analogy to a car, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just like with a car, you don't, when you're maintaining your car, you don't necessarily use your insurance to put gas in it. Um, you don't use your insurance to get it washed and to basically maintain it and to make sure that things are, are running well overall. Now, if you do um, have an accident or there's some kind of you know crash or um, catastrophic kind of thing that, that happens, it's important to have insurance for that. So it's the same kind of concept. Uh, that we believe um, with direct primary care is that, you know, seeing your doctor, you don't necessarily need to utilize insurance for that. 
but if you are hospitalized, if you need to um, have labs, x-rays or whatnot, that is important, and also your medications, then insurance can be something that can be utilized for that. But we just like to just make sure that our process of when we see you is a lot more simplistic. So, yeah. How do you stay healthy as a physician with a business like Goble MD? All right, well, that's a, another great question, Gigi. And uh, what I try to do first and foremost is, um, in terms of my health, I consider my body to be a temple, just like what the Bible says. And, and with this temple, I try to make sure that I put it forth to God first and foremost, um, making sure that the things that I try to do is in honor of Him. So, and I try to put all my worries and concerns, it's not, I'm not always successful, but worries, concerns, and issues to him to the, at the forefront. Um, and then I, I, with the knowledge that I've gained and then just ex life experiences, just, yeah, and then the, the things that I preach to my patients, I try to practice it myself. So try to, uh, and I say try, I'm not always successful, but uh, try to get the exercise that I, you know, that I, can get um, on a regular basis, um, eat as healthy as I possibly can most of the time, even though I know that there were those Krispy Kreme donuts here the other day. Um, I try to deal with stress in an optimal way, um, go out in nature, um, pray, um, hang out with family and friends, um, dance, you know, just do different things that really help me in my health. Uh, health healthcare journey. Um, so just, you know, practicing what I preach. So, yeah, do the best that I can. So thank you so much for your questions, Gigi. And um, if there's any other questions that you have, you have the number to go well and deep. Thanks, Doc. So thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Healthy Mind, Body and Spirit. It's a little different, and uh, but we wanted to give you more information in regards to just the concept of Global MD and direct primary care in the community. So thank you for joining us and be well.